Magic moments again. Let's find the resultant moment, the resultant of two. Clockwise is positive, anti-clockwise is negative. There's my pivot point. Here's my crowbar or my door. I don't know, let's put 12 over here. 12 Newton force there, look. Let's say the length of this thing is in meters, 0.1 of a meter. That's gonna go clockwise, that's positive. We'll have another force down here somewhere. 24, and let's make it, see if you can work it out in your head before me. Uh, 0.05, 150 mil meter. That's gonna go anti-clockwise, clockwise, that's minus. So the result is gonna be, the moment here is gonna be 12 times 0.1. 12 times by 0 0.1 is 1.2. 1.2 Newton meters. That's going clockwise. It's plus. Resultant. This one here is going to be moment, force times distance, 24 times by the distance of the pivot, 0 0.05. That gives me, funnily enough, 1.2 Newton meters. But it's going anti clockwise. It's like you're opening a door from the other way. Anti clockwise. We call that minus. Well, I do anyway. So the resultant is going to be the result of these two. So I'm going to go 1.2's plus, take away 1.2, gives me zero Newton meters. That thing is not going to move because you've got one going that way, one going that way. Resultant moment. For more things like that, there's a cheat sheet in my bio.